So today I'm talking about a P0340 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0340 code? Well, it's a camshaft position sensor A, circuit bank one, or single sensor. And what does this mean? Well, there's a sensor or sensors that report back to the computer the location of the camshaft as it spins. And the computer uses this information for timing of the engine. And for some reason, the computer is seeing the air inside of this. And so it's going to be troubleshooting to why. And one thing to note about cam sensors or crankshaft position sensors is that depending on the vehicle, if they are swapped out, they might need what's called a relearn procedure. Not all vehicles need this. It's really going to vary. It's just going to depend on the manufacturer, the year, things like this. So you might have to do some research to find out if it does need a relearn procedure. If you find out that your vehicle does need a relearn procedure, then there's different ways to do this. If you have a really good OBD2 scan tool, sometimes they'll have an option inside of there for cam or crankshaft relearn. Some vehicles also have a procedure, like you start up the engine, step on the brake, drive it at 45 miles an hour for three minutes, park, turn it off, things like this. They'll have steps that you can follow that'll do a cam or crankshaft relearn. Other times you could just drive the vehicle around and the computer will automatically do a relearn. And like I said, some vehicles don't require one at all, but just be aware that there can be a cam sensor relearn procedure. And so what are some possible causes of a P0340 code? Well, the first thing that causes is just a bad camshaft position sensor. It might've just failed, it just need to be replaced. If you have a V6 or V8 engine, you're gonna have two banks. Bank one side of the engine is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder on your engine, that side is going to be bank one. And then the opposite of that would be bank two. And so if you do have a V6 or V8 engine, that's going to be the side of the engine that's having the problem. If you have a four cylinder, it wouldn't matter. You'd only have one bank. You can test that sensor if you want to. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about testing it. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad camshaft position sensor. Another thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the sensor. There might be some kind of issue going on there. There might be an open, short, bad connection, something like this. So you can test the wiring if you want to. Older vehicles had two wire sensors. Most vehicles are going to have three wire sensors, but some can even have four wire sensors. So it's really going to vary. You're going to need to get a schematic for your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on. But three wire sensors are very common. And basically what's going on with those is that you're going to have five volts going to it. So when the key goes into the on position, you're going to get five volts to that sensor. And then you're also going to have a ground wire. And every single time a piece of metal is directly in front of that sensor, it's going to send a signal back to the computer. And the computer is going to get this signal and it's going to be able to track that camshaft as it spins. But like I said, before you check out the wiring, be sure to get schematics for your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on. Another thing that can cause this is a blown fuse. These sensors are going to be on a fuse and if it blows, then it can cause a problem. Sometimes it's not so clear which fuse it is since some manufacturers will combine them with different things. So sometimes it's not so clear which fuse it's going to be. Again, you'll have to do research on your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on. But the next thing that could cause this is going to be a blown fuse. And another thing that could cause this, although usually you'll get other codes, but in some cases a bad timing chain or timing belt, they can't cause issues. Especially if the timing chain gets really old and it becomes really loose. And when the engine's running, since it's loose, it's just kind of knocking things off a little bit. So the computer thinks there's a problem with that sensor when there's not. And like I said, usually you'll get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0340 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.